But let's look at the groundwork that Javonta laid in order to get the knockdown in round eight, the hook to the head. Barrios was content to jab and pour and control the lead hand of, of Javonta. Javonta obliged by becoming a bit more active with the lead glove, parrying and pouring. That created that space to the side of Barrios' head. And then in round eight, he decides to change tempo. He raises the glove, drops it down. Barrios tries to track it. He falls away to his left, but he hooks over the left glove and arm of Barrios. Great change of tempo and creating of the space and he was able to catch him on the side of the head as he moved to his right Barrios. And a lovely piece of inside work here from Tank. If you look, he's side on, he's in a great position. His feet are on the inside of Barrios and he's got his, lead, his backhand in the middle of Barrios's two gloves. He's waiting for Barrios to open up to make that move to punch and then he punches with him. And we all know when you get hit like that, it hurts the most. Again, I just love the groundwork, six, seven and eight. He's setting it up, he's setting it up, then he changes tempo, forces Barrios to make a split second decision. Barrios drops the glove down and he comes over the top. Absolutely sterling work from Tank. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe. And thank you again for watching and all the support.